Miami Beach is on the rise to take on climate change and effectively improve and maintain our enviable quality of life. The mayor and commission have established their own committee to address flooding, and the mayor created a blue ribbon panel on flood mitigation. This panel is comprised of members of our community who have the backgrounds and knowledge to guide the city in the implementation of a comprehensive flood management plan. The mayor's instructions to the Blue Ribbon Task Force were very clear. Dry the streets out. And that is what we're going to do. As recently as 2012, the city initiated a stormwater master plan that was one of the first to consider sea level rise. And because of its flexibility, they have been able to make modifications to the system. Right now is short term is between now and 20 years. That's where the Blue Ribbon Panel came in. Based on current data, and their recommendations, the city updated the design criteria to reflect current sea level projections. The first thing we did was we increased the level to which we were going to design this new system to not only account for the highest tides, but to also account for future sea level rise. New pump stations are designed to pull larger amounts of water off the road. Electrical panels on these pump stations will be installed at higher elevations, and the city insists that all new pump systems must be designed with the flexibility for expansion. Nearly 60 new pump stations are proposed to be installed over the next three to five years. This is how those pump stations work. Rainwater makes its way off the street through the inlet drains that lead to the pump stations. The water runs into a detention box so named because it stores the runoff water so that sediment can settle to the bottom and the water can be treated. Next, the water is pumped through the pump station, which conveys the water into a valve box and then through a vortex chamber that further separates any remaining solids before pushing it out to open water. Some of the water is dispelled through outfalls, like this one. But as you can see, if the water level of the bay is higher than the opening in the outfall, it backs up into the system and ends up back on our streets, especially during significantly high tides. So the new design requires the addition of more backflow preventers, like this one. Once the water gets out, it stays out. New pump stations and outflows are just the first part of the solution. The City of Miami Beach is looking at addressing the issues of flooding and sea level rise in both a short-term and a middle and a long-term basis. And they're looking at essentially to install these pump stations and you have in place within the next five years. With the city and the community working together, there is a comprehensive approach to address immediate needs, like getting the water off our streets, and then to develop new criteria for building and construction to sustain the future. Within the next three to five years, and, 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 and a lot of you will see the improvements much faster than that, we'll see our streets gradually dry up and we'll be able to enjoy driving on a sunny day without driving through puddles. The city of Miami Beach is not in this alone. Uh, flooding like this is occurring anywhere along coastal areas that are, are being challenged with sea level rise. But the city of Miami Beach is the leader. Uh, we can look and we can learn from what other people are doing, but we are taking the initiative. Miami Beach is rising above.